Good morning, people. <clears throat> Whoop, crackly morning voice. Um, I got another test. I was going to hold off and let it be like my vlogmas make, but I'm about to go racing this weekend. I'm not racing. My husband's racing, um, but I go to support him and uh, yeah, so I have no projects. I need to go to the yarn shop to get some yarn for my mother-in-law's Christmas present because I don't have it in this stash. But I have been holding off on using this yarn. And so now is the time for this test. I'm going to be using some, um, the hook nook as my contrast color and some lion brand ice cream yarn as my main color. Cause I got a good amount of it. And this project requires DK weight. So I'm going to be doing like quite a few DK weight projects right now. I guess I'm going to need some DK weight yarn, like more of it, but I'd like to go through this stash and dwindle it down. So yeah. Anyway, I'm just blabbing away. I'm going to go ahead and get this yarn set up for my weekend make. My dog got to try on my sweater before I did, and I ain't mad about it either. Um, I was on the struggle chain, the struggle train major yesterday. Um, I don't, I don't know what my problem was. I think like this is a little bit different. It, um, I broke some nails there. Sad, but it starts off where like the chain twos count well it, ignore my starts off comment uh the chain twos count as a stitch and the stitch in the chart in this design and so for some reason like when i go and i'm counting them i kept messing that up and then it just ruins your whole color work when you start off wrong and then also like i had Yes, this is it. This is how far I've come. Oh my gosh. So I had done like two round rounds of this where I didn't need to because I didn't pay attention that I was supposed to move back to the first color. Yeah. I don't know what the deal was yesterday, but today I woke up. I've done like this much already and I am on a roll. My goal today is to get all the color work done. I just can't stop. I can't set it down. This is amazing. It's so fun. And this is one of my favorite stitches too, to do. 
It's blowing out with the sun. We are nearby a beach. We're in Edna, Texas racing. So there's like lots of palm trees and stuff. It's funny, I'm working on a sweater while I'm doing that. Also look at these floats. It's crazy because I feel like I'm knitting, but I'm crocheting. Like Fair Isle is just not a common thing in crochet. Ah, oh, it's so good. I just didn't know that I was gonna love this as much as I do. And these colors are really complementing each other so well. I'm getting major Elsa vibes. Also reminds me of my friend Sally. Um, I'm just supremely happy right now. So I think when I get closer to the end, I'll try and show you like the way that I kind of do the color work, but please don't judge my nails, okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>
I got two sleeves. Now I'm on Body Island. Swimming in it. Yeah. These rounds are going to take some time on this body. But um, I just wanted to get the sleeves done first. Because it's basically like a little crop. And then also... Um, Tail never stops barking, I swear. Anyway, but uh, also it's less to move around. So like, you know, the rounds in a sleeve are much smaller. And so that's like, if I did the body first, that'd be a lot of weight to continually move around a lot. Um, but since I'm coming back to the body, the weight of the sleeves isn't like a massive impact. I have them out, but really I could tuck them into the body and then I, they wouldn't get in my way at all. But um, since the rounds are longer, it's just less to have to worry to rotate. So if you want to jump ahead to sleeves when you make this puppy and have a crop top, you get to try it on as you're going and decide when you want to stop. I totes suggest it. Um, I can't set this project down. So I'm at, today is Tuesday. Courtney is finally going to be releasing the little secret, giving the sneak peek about this on her Instagram tomorrow. And I started this Friday or Thursday? Friday. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days. So, I will be able to get this sweater done within a week. Because, I mean, I gotta go to... I've got, like, a couple inches here. And I still have, like, nine more inches to go or something like that and then ribbing yeah it's gonna be some time i'm gonna watch some shows but this is so cool i really enjoy that all the effort is done like at the top the yoke is where all the thinking is done and then after that you're just like crochet all day it's really lovely because you could do, you could set up all the yoke work and um, not that anybody's getting social right now, but there are Zoom calls happening. So like you could totally do this on Zoom calls after the yoke part. Yeah. I am thoroughly loving this project. In my brand new sweater. Oh, I might spill my coffee. Oh, and then Tamale bumps into my tripod. <laughs> She's blind now, so I can't be putting like weird things everywhere because she can't see it. Uh, anyways, how perfect is this? I can't wait to like wash it and it's gonna be even more like soft, but um, isn't this crazy? This is crochet. And I even got this speckle yarn. These are more speckly down here. I didn't um, like alternate skeins. So I think the last skein had a bit more speckle and darker to it. Clearly, clearly I needed this coffee but I am obsessed. The colors just came out so well together. Um, the hook neck yarn was kind of splitty, but it did have like, it does really show good stitch definition and it has like a sheen to it. Um, the lion brain yarn is really, 
almost roving like because it's spun like so tight so there's no chance that it's splitting at all um i just love it so much i'm usually not into like crochet ribbing but this ribbing is really cute and it feels substantial like it works you know i'm not going to be dipping my sleeve into any thing if i am to cook with this but I think I'm going to save this sweater for sure to wear during Christmas. I mean, it is very like white Christmas like Elsa. Mm. Anyway, I just wanted to show you because I didn't get to show you last night whenever I did actually finish. Um, so the next time will be like photo shoot time. Silly me, procrastinated. I've long had this sweater done. I've watched everybody in the group make their awesome variations. And now it's January 2nd. Notes are due by January 4th. Not to mention I have like my own design going on. So I have got to get these notes in today. It's happening. Um, so I am running laundry also. So after this next load, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my sweater. Um, actually, when we started this design, I forgot to mention that it didn't have a name and then Courtney decided on the name during the process, which was really cool. Um, I kind of love being part of the naming process. I didn't name it. I'm just saying it's fun to see like the ideas and how it comes to life. Um, it is called the Marzana sweater, as you know, and I do love that name. It has great meaning. So anyways, what's nice about using acrylic is that I can wash it in the washer. It's no big deal. It's not going to like, uh, felt and I like to kill my acrylic. So I get like the best kind of drape. And traditionally, I normally like to get finished pictures before or after I wash it. Uh, this case, I did it before I washed it because it was the time that I could get it done um, to get amazing quality photos, which I definitely wanted to take advantage of that. Thank you to my stepdaughter. Um, so yeah, let's see how it turns out in a bit. Oh my gosh, Becky. I just took her out of the dryer and she is so slinky, drapey, and soft. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about it. Um, I have... <sighs> Mom caught me videoing and she brought me a box full of Dairy Queen ice cream sandwiches. So I'm gonna eat one right now, but... I was trying to say that I have gobs of ends that I do need to still weave in and I washed it anyways, like with the ends out. Let's see, there's some here on the sleeves and stuff. There's some more on the other sleeve. Of course, like the beginning parts and then um, the short row sections. It's sunny today, so my project like looks to blow out in the video picture. Um, but it's fine, y'all know that it's fantastic. Also, um, notes are due like tomorrow. And I've been horrible about procrastinating. Ideally, I would like to get my notes in like as soon as I'm done so that it's fresh on my mind. But I did keep like a little notebook of my scratch scratch going. So I'm good on getting that in. And I did start my Ravelry project a while back in like December 19th. And um, so now that it's out of the dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and get my finished measurements of it. And I've already filled out everything else on the um, 
form for the testing notes. I've got to get my ruler. Taking y'all on an adventure with me, walking around my house. Like, it's my fitness of the day. <laughs> anyway, I got to get the measurements. I've already filled out all the rest of the things on the form. And then I'm pressing send and I'm done with this. I'm gonna weave in the ends and I will show you the one last fit just for video sake to show like the different drape now that it's washed. Um, but mostly like it's just soft. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I was thinking, oh, I might be able to wear it as a my Christmas sweater, but we all wore like pajama, matching pajamas. So that didn't happen. So now I'm just gonna wear it just because it's cold outside. That's a good reason. <laughs> Let's get these pictures going. Mm -hmm. 